Welcome to the jungle of Hero Wars. A new hero arrived in Dominion, Octavia. A new addition for dodge teams. She has some powerful abilities, but today I need the entire episode for her violet skill and only the first part. Octavia cannot be the target of any skills and attacks. So let's check out who is able to hit her and who is not. Let's start with Kira. Her basic attack flies from enemy to enemy and yes, she is able to hit Octavia. And what about her ultimate? It flies to the furthest enemy, in this case Octavia. Like expected, it stops already right after Marcus. Very nice ability for a support hero. Lars has a similar attack. His chain lightning flies from enemy to enemy, but wow, it stops at Marcus. I thought it will be easier, but now I'm again confused. I would guess it's the same type of attack, only in magical form. Okay, and what about his ultimate? The eye of the tornado is at Octavia. Oh. I checked the behavior without her and it looks pretty similar, so let's say it's logical. The next surprising things are Amira's skills. Octavia is an agility hero and I wanted to make her hitting critical, but no effect. Yeah, perhaps logical again. And what about her ultimate? Even that doesn't work. Wow, that's very strong in my opinion. It feels for me not really logical, but we have to accept this. By the way, I have Astaroth here and he burns the energy of the furthest enemy. He is not able to burn Octavia's energy. Instead, he burns the energy of the hero in front of her. She is like Marcus as ghost. Next surprising hero, Iris. Bitey stops at Marcus and Octavia doesn't get the inner fire effect. But her ultimate will hit her, right? I wanted to test both parts. And the first damage doesn't hit her. Only Corvus and Marcus get the magical damage. But the clap will work. Wow, even that. So Octavia is completely immune to Iris. Very unexpected. Our Harry Heidi has also some interesting skills. He takes the poison from the first hero and brings it to the last one. In this case Marcus. His ultimate will be casted in the middle of the team. Is Octavia part of this middle calculation? Oh yes. So Heidi's ultimate is able to hit her and the pure damage cannot be dodged. When Octavia is dead, we see the difference of the middle calculation. Judge has also a middle calculation. His blue skill slows enemies down. After 7 seconds it disappears and then the heroes will be stunned. Okay, not Octavia. And his ultimate hits like a Miro's ultimate, every enemy. Look, it works. I don't know why, but he is able to hit her. That's the jungle of hero wars. Look closer again at the spatial rift. Octavia is nearly in it and no stun. So that's the limit, a real area effect and it doesn't hit her. Next one, Satori. Oh yeah, his area skill hits her and the bonus energy triggers the fox marks. So many marks, I hope he's really able to eat them. It's weird to say this, but we have to test it first. Okay, nice. It kills also himself, nice too. Krista, 
The twins were a strong duo a long time ago. Octavia is part of Krista's middle calculation and she is able to debuff her. But her ultimate doesn't see her. Normally it goes from hero to hero. If an enemy is near to Octavia, the splash damage is able to hit her. So we have seen Octavia is always part of the middle calculation. What about Lilith? She ignores Octavia. Her debuff, her double middle hit and her ultimate. Normally it looks like this here. It was sometime pretty annoying. The tank is nearly dead, but Lilith shoots at the full life hero at the end. The good news? Lilith attacks have like Krista's ultimate a splash effect. If Octavia stands near to that hero, she gets damage too. Ah, Fafnir, the amazing supporter. His ultimate has a stun for every enemy. What do you guess? Is he able to stun her? Of course yes, it's a wave and of course no, too logical. It's a really long process to test everything. Our lovely Kark, the real octopus. His ultimate is very strong and he chooses the three lowest life heroes. Octavia is not affected. Faceless looks like her little counter. His race does damage to her. And he has another skill. Chain lightning. Hmm. Exact the same name like last skill, but Faceless is able to hit her. Okay, Faceless race stuns Octavia. Do we get a smart arrow? Hmm, no, it goes to Martha. But that's half the truth. If we have more than one stun target, the furthest will be chosen. And in this case, it's not Octavia. But if you get her solo stunned, the smart arrow hits her. Artemis blind? Works. And her ultimate? No, I tried it many times, not a single one so long as her allies are alive. Faceless allows a small window for attacks. When the last enemy is in the air, you can attack her. Tristan's energy burn. Great skill and it flies to Martha instead. Now we can look again at Artemis arrows. Not a single one hits Octavia. Cascade is funny, he is the clownfish. His tidal wave seems to work, but in the other way around. <laughs> oh man, his debuff is applied and he attacks still the first enemy. His ultimate doesn't hit Octavia. Strange, that was unexpected. 
the damage comes from Astaroth and his mini area basic attacks. Maya has a rooting skill. It pulls the nearest and the furthest enemy together. Octavia is not affected by it. Maya's flower has another effect. When it gets destroyed, nearby enemies will be rooted and the poison is nice. This ability is able to hit her. Let's go faster through the heroes. Luther's jump. No. Zisha's fog. Yes. Zisha's ultimate. No. Jorgen's ultimate. Yes. Jorgen's redirection. No. Phobos. All skills are not working. Magic defense reduce, energy steal, ultimate. But the area effect in his ultimate seems to work. Yasmin's ultimate. No. Cleaver's hook. No. Leon's charm. Yes. All the low health attacks like Andvari's stone grasp or Arachne's jump are not working. But their ultimates work. Kayla's jump. No, but her area attacks. Yes. Dante, completely no. The same for King Mao's ultimate. It hits the same target multiple times. Very funny, Kai. This area attack hits Octavia. His ultimate too. And then Kark is able to hit her. So perhaps we see Kai more often now. Chaba's random ability. No. And very funny, he doesn't attack Octavia when Corvus was eaten. He stands there like a real Christmas tree. And Chava can't eat Octavia when other allies are alive. Rufus has an ability to attack the highest magic attack hero doesn't work too. Isaac's ultimate. Yes. Corvus altar. Yes. Mojo. I tried it so often, none of his skills even when the first enemy was raised. And also during the resurrection, she is protected. The hex doesn't work too. But Mashi's rooms are able to attack her. Thea's silence works. Ju doesn't work.
Orion's ultimate, no. Cornelius random curse, no. His magic attack reduce, no. His ultimate, no. Nebula's ultimate. No. Ginger's area attack. Yes. And her ultimate? Yes. Galahad's ultimate? Yes. So we have a strong hero who confuses the players again. What do you think about her? Huh? Huh? Peace.